determine the transfer function of the system using the state model. So let's take a problem. So our problem is to determine the transfer function of this system. The block diagram of the system is given to us. Now from this block diagram, we have to determine first the state model. And from the state model, we will determine the transfer function. Okay. Now, so let's start solving this problem. Now first using this block diagram we will uh, write the state equations. So first state equation will be x1 dot and second state equation will be for x2 dot. So using the block diagram. State equations can be written as first is x1 dot equals to x1 dot will be we have minus 2 this is x1 so what will come here minus 2 x1 then from here this is our x2 at this point we have x2 so this x2 multiplied with minus 1 so it will be minus x2 and from here u is coming. So x1 dot will be minus 2x1 plus u minus x2. Similarly for x2 dot we have this is x2 dot what is coming from here minus 3x1 x1 multiplied with minus 3 so it will be minus 3x1 here we have u and this is minus 2x2. So x2 dot is minus 3x1 plus u minus 2x2. And our output y is this is 2x1 and this is x2. So output y is 2x1 plus x2. So these are our state equations. Now using these state equation, we will obtain the state model. So state model of the system will be. So x1 dot we have the coefficient of x1 and x2 as minus 2 and minus 1. So minus 2 minus 1 coefficient of u is 1. Minus 2 minus 1 and 1. Then here for x2 dot we have minus 3 minus 2 and 1. So we will write minus 3 minus 2 and 1. 
in the output equation we have the coefficient of x1 x2 as 2 and 1 and the coefficient of u is missing so we have 2 1 and coefficient of u is 0 so this is the state model of the system now using this state model we will determine the transfer function so transfer function is c si minus a inverse b plus d now in this state model if we compare it with generalized then it is x dot equals to a x plus b u and this is y equals to c x plus d u. So we have all the matrices a, b, c and d. a is what? minus 2, minus 1, minus 3 and minus 2. This is a. We have A, B, C and D. Now we just have to calculate this SI minus A inverse. So let's calculate. First we will have SI minus A. So it will be S1001 the identity matrix I minus A is minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 minus 2. So it will be S minus minus 2, so it will be plus 2. Then 0 minus minus 1, so it will be 1. 0 minus minus 3, 3. S minus minus 2, S plus 2. So this is the value of SI minus A. Now we will calculate the inverse of SI minus A. It will be. A joint of SI minus A upon determinant of SI minus A. First we will calculate the determinant. Determinant is given by we have to just exchange the terms and then also we have to we will exchange these term S plus 2 S plus 2 and these terms will remain the same only their sign will be changed so it will become s plus 2 minus 1 minus 3 and s plus 2 this is the determinant now it joined so we have to calculate the inverse of si minus a The inverse of SI minus A, it is given by the ratio of the adjoint of SI minus A and the determinant of SI minus A. First, we will calculate the determinant of SI minus A. It is given by we have to multiply the two terms s plus 2 and s plus 2 our matrix is given by this so we will multiply s plus 2 and s plus 2 minus 3 multiplied with 1 so we have s plus 2 s plus 2 then minus 3 multiplied with 1 so 3 so we have s square plus 2s plus s plus 2s plus 4 minus 3 so it is s square plus 4s plus 1 this is our determinant of si minus a now it joined
एट जॉइंट ऑफ एस आई माइनस ए इज वॉट वी हैव टू जस्ट एक्सचेंज द टू टर्म्स एस प्लस टू एंड एस प्लस टू एंड थ्री एंड वन विल बी हैविंग ऑपोजिट साइंस सो एस प्लस टू एस प्लस टू दे आर एक्सचेंज दे विल रिमेन द सेम एंड थ्री एंड वन दे आर विद द ऑपोजिट साइन सो अर्लियर दे वर पॉजिटिव देन नाउ दे हैव बिकम नेगेटिव so this is the adjoint now inverse will be adjoint divided by the determinant so it will become s plus 2 divided by this s square plus 4s plus 1 then minus 1 divided by s square plus 4s plus 1 we have just divided the adjoint by the determ so this is the inverse now to determine the transfer function we have the formula c si minus a inverse b plus d so d is zero here so we have just this c si minus a inverse b just put the value of c c is what 2 and 1 then we have si minus a inverse so it is s plus 2 then we have b b is what 1 and 1 so this matrix is what 1 cross 2 this is 2 cross 2 matrix and this is 2 cross 1 so first we will multiply these two and then we will multiply these two matrices so our transfer function will be we have this multiplied with this then we have this term and we will multiply this with 1 and 1 so our overall transfer function it will be 2s plus 4 minus 3 so it will be 2s plus 1 and it is minus 2 plus s plus 2 so it will be s upon so our overall transfer function will be 2s plus 1 upon s square plus 4s plus 1 plus s upon s square plus 4s plus 1 to our transfer function 2s n s 3s plus 1 upon s square plus 4s plus 1 so this is our answer to the question we have determined the transfer function of the system using the state model so i hope this problem is clear to you thank you